CE4, right? That gets you into this window. All right, so let's write our first program, right? But firstly, we, had to, we need to go to the uh, terminal emulator. So let's go to terminal emulator, which is this little icon down here, or you can get it from, uh, from the application. So I'm just going to go for, from the icon. I'm going to click it once. There it is. Okay. Hey, look. It's my Linux window, okay? It's my dollar sign, my, my old friend dollar sign. So I'm going to expand this out for us. All right, so there's my expanded dollar sign. Okay, so I could do LS, the same old stuff, and look, I got the same stuff there. Okay, fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, Vim, except, uh, except I'm going to use VIM, uh, GVIM, okay, as uh, Dr. Uh, Mayhew suggested. And then I'm going to write my Hello World program. Now you can call it whatever you want. All right, so I'm going to say uh, GVIM. All right, so that's that's what I want to use. That's the editor that I want to use. Space, and I'm going to call my file howzit.c. Okay, howzit is just whatever name I have. That's a Hawaiian thing for saying hey, how's it going? Dot C indicates it's a C program that you'll be writing. All right, so GVIM. Whatever your file name is, my file name is howzit.c. Right, I hit enter. And look, comes up with this bad boy. Wow, that's great. Well, it says, well, Vim attention, save file already exists. Well, too bad, that's fine. I'm just going to edit it anyway. So, right, so apparently I had howzit uh, in there already, but that's okay. So there's my how's it window. Okay, I'm going to expand this out a little bit. Oops, sorry. Expand this out a little bit. So I'll move this up. Expand it out a little bit for us. Oops, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. All right. So that's my GVIM window, all right? So in order to start things, as uh, Professor Mayhew indicated, hit the escape key, E-S-C, escape key. Hit it, okay? And uh, that kind of like uh, puts you into this, well, I'm ready to do, um, put commands into, into my uh, GVIM. So I'm going to say, all right, I hit escape. I hit escape already. And then I'm gonna insert some lines. Right, so I'm gonna do an I. So I hit escape and I type in I. All right, hey, look, the cursor changed. You see that? Look, I'm gonna hit escape again. Okay, escape says I can I can type in commands. You see the blocky, uh, the blocky dark block, uh, blinking cursor. Okay, that's that means that I'm ready to put the commands in. Now, if I actually put a command in, in my case, I want to insert. Uh, characters, right? So I can write my programs. I'm gonna do an. I'm gonna just type the one character. I, just gonna go I, lowercase I. And look, it's changed. And look at the very bottom. It says insert. Do you see that at the bottom, bottom left-hand corner? It says insert. Great. So I'm gonna start writing my hello world program. Except it's gonna be how's it? Okay. So we're gonna start with pound, right? Include space and then the less than sign std uh, dio dot h greater than okay so that's my first line that would be pound include stdio dot h what that does is it's got some pre-made libraries okay uh of functions that we want to use in our program so pound include says hey i want to include these pre-made functions into my program. It's a whole bunch of functions. We may only use one or two, but that's okay. We're just going to include them all. All right. And then we hit a return. Okay. And then uh, the way Dr. Uh, Mayhew wanted to have you write the, the program, the first thing is in main, right? Left, left, oh, left parenthesis, right parenthesis. But he wanted you to write it this way. Int, right? And then main. And he had a left paren here, okay, and then he did a return, and a right paren, okay. So you notice that the left and right parentheses are highlighted now? That means that, hey, you've opened and closed that parentheses, okay? 
which is great. And then um, you put a left bracket or a left curly bracket. All right. Okay. Now the left curly bracket doesn't have that blue thing on it because it's not. Uh, it doesn't have the right curly bracket on there yet. So I'm gonna hit return. Now I'm gonna hit the tab key. Okay, to go over some space. Just that it's just good form. And now I'm gonna do a print house it. Okay. So I'm going to do print F left parenthesis quotation mark. Okay, that's a double quote. Okay, quotation mark. I'm going to put a backslash n. What backslash n means is when you do the display, when you actually print the display, when you display the uh, the output, I'm going to uh, skip a line. All right, I'm going to skip a line. All right, and then I'm going to say, how's it? Okay, like that. And then I'm going to put slash n, slash n, two slashes. Okay, so I'm going to put two spaces, two line spacing in there. And then I'm going to close parenthesis, right, with a double parenthesis, double quote rather. And then uh, put uh, right parentheses in there. I love the left and right parentheses uh, highlight, which is nice. And now with C programs, when you put a put a, a line of uh, C program in there, and many and in most cases, and we'll talk about uh, in which cases you don't, but in most cases you put a semicolon in there. Okay, great. Now you can actually make. Uh, uh, comments in here all right you can say um, that is things that don't execute um, and so in, in other words it's just uh, like notation for you all right so that you know and it doesn't it's not really part of the program so I'm gonna write a little comment that says and the way you do a comment is you put a slash asterisk and then you can write whatever you want and I'm gonna say hey this is my first program and I like it, okay? And then in order to close out this uh, comment, it's a comment for yourself or for me or whoever is reading the program, asterisk slash again, okay? So anything between the two asterisk slashes is not executed as a program, it's treated as a comment. It's like, you know, blah, 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 okay? Some commentary. All right, so I'm gonna hit enter. And I'm going to close my program, right? So I'm going to close my program using the right curly bracket. And you see how the two, the left curly bracket and the right curly bracket uh, uh, is highlighted. That means that, yeah, I have a matching uh, bracket, okay? By the way, you can put comments wherever you want, okay? So I'm going to hit return, going over here, two spaces or three spaces. And I say, hey, uh, I'm done with my program, so food, okay? you'll see foo all over the place uh, programmers. Right now, I don't have my lucky programming sweatshirt on, and I still have my shoes on, and I don't have my shades on, and I have my lights on. Usually when I program, I don't know what it is, I like to have my lucky sweatshirt on with the hoodie, so I look like the Unabomber, and then I have some shades on, I have my uh, shoes off, and I have the whole place dark. I also have like a TV or something going on. Uh, so I can distract myself. Anyway, so this is my program. Great. All right, so I'm going to hit return. So now you see it's still in insert mode at the very bottom. You see that? All right. And you see the flashing cursor, right, which is just a bar. So what I'm going to do is hit escape. Get out of the insert mode by hitting escape. Hey, look, it becomes a blocky, blocky uh cursor okay which is flashing right there you see the flashing blocky cursor right there okay and so uh, I want to write that okay I want to write my little what I just did in my editor into how's it.c so I do that by doing a remember I hit an escape okay and then I did a colon right colon W okay colon W see the colon W at the bottom Bottom left right there, colon W, and then I hit enter. And look, it says, how's it dot C, new, 
has been written. Fantastic. Now I want to quit. Okay. So I might as well hit escape again. You don't have to because I have the blocky uh, cursor. But I'll go ahead and escape. It doesn't matter how many times you hit escape. You can hear me hitting escape, right? I hit escape. And I'm going to go colon Q. Okay. Quit. There. My program's written. So check it out. So I'm going to do an ls to make sure that houseit.c was written into my um, SD drive. Yes. Hey, there it is. How's it dot C at the very right? Do you see that? That's cool. All right, now we're going to compile the program. The way you compile the program is you go GCC space how's it dot C. What that does is take that text file essentially and goes into a compiler. The compiler makes an executable file. All right. And in this case, the executable name of the file will be a period out, a dot out. All right, so here we go. Hit return. Moment of panic. It comes back. Now I'm going to do a ls now. Okay, so you can compare the uh, uh, the number of files in the in the system right now. Ls. Hey, look, there's one more. You see that a period out, a dot out in green on the left hand side. That's my executable file. So I'm going to go ahead and execute my a.out. So, uh, so in other words, in order to execute that file, that is to run that program, I'm going to do a period slash a.out. OK? And I'll hit return. How's that? It's working. Now, supposing you have multiple programs going on, and each one of them is creating a dot out, you don't know which one is a dot out. So, maybe you want to name your executable, right? So, I'm going to name my Houseit executable as Houseit1, okay? So, here I go. So, here's my ls. So, I'm going to do a GCC again. I'm going to create an executable program, one that runs, all right? A program that runs GCC. I have my original C program, which is my houseit.c, right? And I put a space and put a dash O, not a zero, dash small letter O, okay? That indicates that, hey, when I get done compiling it, I want an output named houseit1, okay? Oh, actually, yeah, houseit one's good enough. All right, so I'm gonna hit enter. It created an executable program that I can run when you do an ls. Look, there's how's that one on the right. You see how it's green? Green means it's an executable file, okay? So I'm going to just go. Now remember how to execute it? Period slash, period slash, how's it one. How's that? Okay? Works great, right? All right, so now I, I, I can do some fun things. I can either close this window using the X here or being the old Unix and uh, VI kind of a uh, old guy. I'll just use uh, exit, okay? I'll get out of there, fantastic. All right, by the way, so, so right now I just wanna say, all right, fine, I'm just gonna go on the internet and go surfing, you know, whatever I want. Um, or, uh, you know, you can get on to uh, Google, do some searches. So I'm going to close that up because I want to do something else. I want to show you something.